We're back with Natalia Sokolova, managing partner of SGG World Sokol Family Office. And uh, Natalia, you have a wild background <laughs> of, uh, you know, coming from the former Soviet Union, ending up in, in uh, North America as basically a young teenager, mm -hmm. car accident, in a wheelchair, fighting through that, um, Playboy Playmate, what, 1999? Yeah, so if you want to look it up, <laughs> there it is. Today, you're now gamification of the world. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Uh, let's take Playboy, for example. Playboy is a lifestyle brand. Playboy is about um, culture, about art, about you know, music, jazz festival, jazz festival. Uh, it's, uh, you know, half was able to create a total revolution. He's got the best politician coming. So it was a complete brand around lifestyle. And uh, sexuality and the beauty, of women's beauty was a part of it. But it was always very tasteful, very peaceful, and very artistic. So, and if you take that concept and you say, to, okay, let's talk about gamification. So what is... Um, Gamification, first of all. Right now, uh, all the companies, um, they're trying to get customers or try to, it's all about, about, about interaction of companies, clients, consumers. So how do you do in the very high-paced uh, society when we all have this tons of screen about and things are blinking every second? There's 2.6 billion people playing ga games daily. That's a huge number. So if you start from that number, say, why do they play? So the game Fortnite was one of the great, is the greatest game, which is the most interaction. Uh, a week ago, you have uh, Ace creating Apex Legends. Then in a day, it, it does what uh, Fortnite did in four months. So what is that creates and why people look at that and not that? So that is very hard to predict. But what we know is that people do pay attention to new gaming. And it's probably number one way to get somebody's attention. And there's a lot of misconception about gamers as well because people think it's some kind of kid sitting like in a corner, you know, you know, pizzas everywhere and just, you know, drenching clothes. But realistically, the average life of a gamer is 36 years old. So, um, or, you know, early 30s. The average, average gamer, gamer has a family, gamer. has a good, has a business, wow. or has a good income, owns a home, have family, kids. So it's, it's totally not what you really think, thinking about gaming. Uh, by gamification, everything is being gamified right now. Walmart, um, you cannot become a manager that just announced it until you finish the game that Walmart created for all the employees. Oh, a training program Training for problems. Then education, Khan Academy, it's using gaming to yes. get interaction with the kids. Uh, I just read um, there was an instance when, uh, when they're trying to find a cure for cancer and so for doctors to, they need data from the kids. How do we get the kids to write down, okay, my pain level, how I'm feeling? So they created a game, a very interactive game to help kids to put the data and that's actually helped a company to get much closer to finding a solution for cancer. And so I, they, I know you can go for days giving different example. So that's... Um, I feel that, um, you know, I come across the company that um, is a WAM network. And what WAM did, what I thought was absolutely amazing that nobody else really did, it's a media company that took, uh, basically presents every single thing that gaming related, lifestyle of gamers, uh, and uh, uh, as an MTV for gaming. So their unofficial uh, slogan is gaming is a force for good. And coming as a mom of a 13-year-old as a gamer and kicking him outside to play games, to not to play games, to play real games, basketball, playing hoops, yeah. it's like stop playing video games, understanding that the value of the games and that you cannot just stop one activity versus the other activity, you have to find the balance of the two. So it was a literally good learning experience to me. So combining my Playboy to Wham, which is a lifestyle of gaming, which is the future of how you get the message across, I'm a big believer in that, uh, is giving me a chance to be a part of something that gives me an, a highway to get a message across to 2.6 billion people. Uh, and whatever the message can be, it can be from learning, from engagement, from education. Uh, it's, uh, we're working with uh, different strategic 
companies, you know, musicians, top, top musicians, they're all gamers working on Universal Music uh, to do a separate red carpet. So they talk about their gaming experiences. So, I mean, there's so much. So I think that everything going on in the world, this is one really big area that can really use a really interesting platform to pass the message through. Also, of course, I look at it as an investor from standpoint of view. Um, rather than uh, investing in esports, how do you know? It's only but one company win, one team wins out of how many? And you need to put 30 to 50 million into a team, support them. You know, this way you have one media company that has a global distribution that can help you to pass the message on, that can help you with your foundation, your charities, uh, like Games for Change, using kids for autism to use the gaming to influence their yes. healing. So I think it's just a really interesting concept. Uh, with Wham, you know, it's about lifestyle. So they do a TV show about life of a gamer. Let's say you're an attorney representing a gaming company and you do uh, behind the scenes or like a cooking show when you cook and talk. So it's something that stays in the content that can be reused many times. Uh, that's uh, what attracts a lot of people. Uh, they do partner with Twitch. So the, the Wham is on right. the Twitch and vice versa. Uh, the company, say the biggest one for esports, Jinx out of UK, uh, they only focus on esports. So they're very, very individual and very narrow. So Wham focuses on everything, and it gives amazing opportunity for, uh, you know, for companies, for people who want to put their message across to figure out the way to do it through the gamification purpose and create a show behind it. And gotcha. I think that can be really fascinating because that gives you that highway to get your passion across to so many people who are gaming. You mentioned passion. It's, um, it's all over you. Thank you. Natalia Sokolova, thank you so much for joining us on Biz 101. Thank you, Randy. Nice to have you. Great to be here.